these guys here uh, pretty much had to bang this ladder apart as I suspected the uh, screw heads were not going to give me enough leverage to back them out and the screws were so corroded and everything already so basically had to just kind of tap it all apart didn't take much and then just uh, hammer down these screws to get to where I can grab onto them with these uh, pliers and if you take a look at that screw yeah it's had a lot of years of uh, corroding going on so uh, pretty uh, pretty good they held that long but they were definitely getting weak wouldn't take much for that ladder to have broken if someone tried to use it so. alright now I'm going to take these little cleats off and as you can see didn't take much. Didn't take much. So here's the ladder broken down and got the sides, got the treads, got the tread grips and a couple of hooks up there. sanding these pieces right here you're going to notice that there's some a lot of discoloration at the bottom of these set of stairs and in fact in working with these I found uh, especially on the other piece a good bit of rot and you can see just a tinge of it there on the edge right there on this outer edge here uh, down near the end so um, in fact I got to sanding and this is what happened if you look at the profile of this, that's how much I had to sand off. I don't have any big teak pieces to actually make a whole new uh, stair uh, sideboard to the uh, stair, so um, I'm going to have to um, go with some kind of a design, which is kind of what I'm working on right here, and then I'm going to match that on the other set of stairs so it's not so noticeable, but definitely won't be the long straight uh, piece you know, that you see here. This is what the pieces look like now with their feet shaped. So if you don't have a lot of spare material to work with, uh, sometimes you got to get a little creative. So uh, this kind of got me out of a pickle and me having to go find some more teak. So do you remember when I took apart the stairs and they were quite wobbly, wiggly, and of course when I was, I was taking them apart, taking the screws out, I found that you know these holes in the ends of the treads had become quite enlarged. So I wanted to make sure um, that we get these tight when we put them back together. So what I'm going to do is I've got a stick, a uh, scrap of uh, some teak here, and I'm just going to take some uh, chunks of this, some slivers of this, and use that to uh, refill the holes here uh, where the screws were in the sides of the treads. one going there and now we've got them all filled just a little touch up sanding on the edges of those and be ready for uh, some new finish now, the next thing I've got to do is find some more material similar to this that I can make some more uh, uh, tread grips out of for the one step that was missing them so let me see what I can find. <laughs> 